So since we last spoke on last Saturday, you're very happy with the result, not just the 2-0 win, but also a clean sheet. Have you been able to watch the game back since then and what have you made of what you've seen? Yeah, when you watch something back, you're never as good as what you think you are and you're never as bad as what you think you are. And I have to say, I thought we were good on, on Saturday, first half. Watching it back, we were very good. Some of the basics and the habits that I, I spoke about in pre-season played out, especially in that, that 0 to 45. And I felt we were very disciplined in our performance. The goals, yeah, great goals. Kane Smith's brilliant, but it comes from us picking up the seconds. And then the Tyrone Marsh one, it's a good block volley down the line from Jacob Mendy, great contact. Turned defended into an attack with one, one little spin around their back line and Marsh has gone and finished it. We could have probably had more goals from Reese from Tyrone Marsh. Two, first half with a little chip and then the header. Scotty heads the ball onto the bar. So I think we could have been away from Weymouth, probably a, a goal minimum better. But yeah, the clean sheets are paramount. Um, I watched that back. There's bits that we need to work on, don't get me wrong, of course there is, but to start the season away to Weymouth, to win 2-0 win is yeah very pleasing. And you've had the boys back in this week, obviously. How's the recovery since then gone? Trained a good session on Monday. Um, normally do a second day recovery, but I spoke about this. We've, we've lost a lot of older boys, the, the Reedies, the Champs, the Murters, the Woodies of last year. We've... we've Replace them with a Mendy, with a Josh Reese, Frankie Raymond, Connor Smith, Will Evans, who are the oldest is Will Evans, uh, 29. Scotty Bowden's obviously coming later, back end of pre-season. But I think the mindset changes. They don't need a second day recovery. So we've done a good session on Monday. Nice short sharp, bit of bright in terms of getting them a little bit, giving them a little bit back. Um, Tuesday was a structured session on where we feel we need to get to with regards to all the shot tomorrow. Thursday was heavily, heavily structured. Attack the defence as such, patterns of play, um, the things that we feel that we can hurt them, where they, where they can hurt us. And we yeah, nullified that on Thursday. So quite a bit of stop start on Thursday and then a good Friday session today. Two, three kilometres on their legs, a bit of passing, um, free team possession as such, and an old V young. So a lot of the work goes on in, in the Tuesday, Thursday session set pieces done that to death today um they're bright on set plays you see that in the chesterfield game you see that just having words with josh reese what danny sells like in terms of his set plays you see that last year with their combinations in and around on throw-ons and little bits so we we spent a bit of time on that today to ensure that we're we're resilient and we're up to the task come tomorrow if there's a delivery coming in our box we know what we need to do where we're set what we need to go about in terms of our clearances and where we're loading in terms of where we feel we can hurt them on on Saturday. So yeah, look, for me, good week, real good week. Need to back up obviously Weymouth with another positive performance and looking to get three points on the board. And not just looking at how Aldershot play, but how we play as well. You mentioned there's a few chances in Weymouth. There's been a few in the pre-season as well. Is finishing you something been working on? And have you got Kane Smith hitting them from long range and training again? Yeah, listen, uh, Kano does a little drill with the boys today, a little finishing drill where they all play for Lucas Aids. Um, we did some finishing on Monday. The, the group that didn't play on Saturday had to do a little bit of work, so that involved finishing. We genuinely do finishing. There's a, a real desire to a finishing session. Yes, a 4v4 finishing session about getting shots off and following things in. You get you get six goals a season for tapping. So, yeah, the thing that would annoy me is if we weren't creating them chances. That's something that I think once, once people start to get their eye in, like Scotty Bowden, you see that in the pre-season against Hitchin, the header, the little ball over the top where he's probably now, he scores that header, he gets that control and gets a, a finish off. You see his development over 10 days with us. I could, I'm just gutted that he didn't have six weeks with us because I honestly believe what he's brought to the party has been very good. Um, as is all the signings, as is all the signings. Obviously, Frankie Raymond's not played as of yet but what quality he possesses. Um, Joshy Reese gets his chance, goes through on goal, probably that should, in his own opinion, probably should have done better. But yeah, no, we're creating chances, which is a positive, getting a lot more bodies and balls into the box, which we've spoken about, and it's a habit that we want to in, ensure that continues. Um, and like I said, defensively, as a group, the gaps across the pitch, up and down the pitch have been better, and that's saying that 
we've heavily addressed and said it, I keep harping on about it, 47% of goals come from set plays last year and that's something that we have eradicated and that's something that we've looked strong at. Touch wood, that continues tomorrow. Um, but yeah, we're in a good frame of mind, totally not getting ahead of ourselves. We've won a game of football in the National League. We've parked that and the focus becomes all the shot. I spoke about it in my programme notes. The next game is the biggest game. So Saturday, it's all the shot, come three o'clock is, is full focus. We need to go and get three points. And is there any thinking in way, uh, Dover on Monday, sorry. Is there any thinking in going into Saturday with big attitude for that game as well as Monday? Or have you worked during this week solely on all the shot? So we'll be in on Sunday as an elite athlete should be. Um, they had some good weekends off, the first team boys, because we've worked them tirelessly. So they've had a couple of carrots given to them. I need a little bit back on Sunday, but the focus is fully Saturday. And I've said to the group, win the next game. It's got to be that. that that's, that's paramount. I can't worry about Dover until Saturday at six o'clock. I'll know where we're at with regards to niggles, knocks, injuries, suspensions potentially. Um, then we'll pick up the pieces on Saturday evening at 6 p.m. We'll then come into work on Sunday to prep Dover. There's a short turnaround, but I'm one of 23 managers in the National League that are going through the self same thing. So, yeah, nah, the focus is all the shot. Um, I used to do things, the clusters of sixes. Next, how many points can we get in the next six to 12 games? And for me, it's just about winning the next game. I've, I've, I've learned that with, with experience over the course of my seven seasons now in the National League, it's the focus of just win the next game. And that is where we're at. I don't want anyone feeling that they can't go to their maximum because of Dover on Monday. Like I said, we'll assess that come 6 p.m. on Saturday. They're a good group, fully fit group. Um, they'll come in Sunday, get their recovery going, and I can imagine they'll, they'll go to Dover just as strong as they will be leading up to tomorrow's game. So. Yeah, now the focus is fully on all the shot come 3pm tomorrow, mate.